Hey YouTube, Natalie here. Hope you're doing well. So I came across a very interesting video on Twitter the other day. And because it's uh, recorded in TikTok, um, it is lengthwise style instead of full recorded, you know, the horizontal screen. They All the TikTok videos come in this format and they're not compatible with YouTube. So I'm sorry about that. It's not gonna look the greatest. But this is a Karen acting up in the UPS. And while yes, she does all the traditional Karen things, which makes her an anti-masker, stupid Karen, she's also a methany. Allegedly, I suspect anyway. Let's look and see. You're holding up my process. I have to get out of here. I'm not shutting down my phone. So first of all, uh, Karen is in a public location, which is this UPS store, but it's also a private business. There is someone who is filming her. She asked, she doesn't ask them, she tells them to shut that down. Like she really, really can tell people what to do. And the person refuses and says that they're gonna keep recording her. Let's see what happens from there. This is a private residence and actually I am restricting your recording. And so therefore you are not allowed to do this. So first of all, that is not a private residence. That is UPS, which is a private business, not a residence. And they get to pick what people are allowed to do inside and outside of their store. So they get to say whether or not people can record and they get to say whether or not people should wear masks, which is ultimately what this is all about. It isn't? Oh, apparently because I had three packages delivered here. Where's your mask? We will, we will help we will, you in just a minute. So she believes that because she had three packages delivered to the UPS, it has now become her private residence and she can tell people what to do in there. Let's see if that works out for her. My mask? I'm not a conformer. Why are you wearing one? Because I feel like... Why are you wearing one? Because I'm... So caring about the health of other people makes you and yourself because the CDC has found as they're developing more information on the virus that wearing a mask does in fact... Um, protect not only other people, but also protects your selfish self. Let's hear why she doesn't want to wear a mask, besides not being a conformer. I already had COVID back on December 20th, 2019. Can you go so we can finish? Can you go? Can you go? Can you go? Methany has already had COVID. <laughs> back into December of 2019, allegedly. Now, there's a couple of, of issues with this statement. First of all, nobody really knew in the United States what that was in December of 2019. There are report, reports that people were, were ill then, but the general public had no idea what that was, nor were people being diagnosed with that in the hospital. So many people just thought that they had the seasonal flu. Turns out it's possible that people had it back then. She's saying she already had it, so she's not afraid of contracting it. If that isn't the utmost of selfishness, I don't know what is. Also, there are reports showing that people have gotten infected more than once. So they've gotten it, gotten better, and then gotten reinfected. That has happened. So just because you got it before doesn't mean that you have a lifetime immunity. Can finish? Can you finish? I can't because you're holding up everybody. Is she the manager? Who's the manager? No one's going to help you. Karen points times a thousand. We're now asking for the manager, but I thought that you owned this place or this was your residence because they particularly or, or possibly had your packages. Who is the manager? She wants to see the manager. They will not serve her unless she steps outside because she refuses to wear a mask. She is insisting that she be allowed to stay inside to address the issues with her packages even though she refuses to follow their private policy. Let me make this clear again. I don't care what your stance is on mask wearing or not mask wearing. I'm pro mask wearing, but I don't have a private business. And guess what? Inside of private businesses, they get to tell you that you have to wear a mask in order to enter. They can do that in public locations too, in government buildings. But especially in private buildings, they can tell you that you have to wear a mask in order to enter. It's just like no shoes, no shirt, no service, same thing. No mask, no service. They have the right to do that. 
it's race neutral, it's gender neutral, it's, um, it's uh, belief system, religious neutral. It is not discriminatory to ask every single person that comes in there to wear a mask. She is asking to be treated specially and different from everybody else. So she is taking her privilege and turn it to the point where she thinks she can control what they do inside of their own business. Who's the manager? No one's going to help Who you until you step manager? back outside. Who is the manager? Who is? You are. Yes. Why didn't you just say that? So step back outside. Why didn't you say that? Where's... Where are my packages? Because you are not. Where are you my packages? Who were delivered here for, for yeah. Yeah. several days ago, five days ago? I will come out and help you if you just step back outside. Okay. They're being nice enough to offer to come out and help her. I would just say you can't be served at this UPS and you're going to have to speak to corporate or whatever the case may be. But they said, we'll help you outside, but you can't be inside without your mask on. Here's her response. So we can, so we can, her. no, step outside. Hi. You will not be helped Hi. until you step outside. Thank you. This is the stupidity of it. Excuse me, let me make sure I stop it before I start talking. Someone told me to stop doing that. Um, but this is the stupidity of it, is that you really are sitting there with your body language of being, okay, that's fine, but what I say, that's what's gonna go. What you say does not go in this circumstance, okay? It's not up to you. And that's what some of these people are having such a hard time with is that in their in their everyday life, they think that they get to have power and control over everything. In this circumstance, you have no power and you have no control, okay? You have to wear a mask just like everybody else. And if you don't, you're not gonna be serviced. Doesn't matter how many times you dismiss people or tell people not to film, no one has to listen to you because you're not in control of the situation. And as human beings, that's something that we all run into circumstances where things are out of our control, where we're not entitled to get our way. People are just gonna have to learn how to grow up and just accept the fact that sometimes what you say is not what goes. I know, this is already six feet apart. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And we're wearing masks. So not only is she breaking the social distancing rules by being too close to people, she's breaking the answer, the mask rule by refusing to wear a mask. And also they are over their capacity of people that they want to have in the store. They only want to have three customers in the store at a time and she's the fourth person. So everything that she's doing is against their rules and regulations. I love the hand on the hip. It's just so authoritative. That were delivered to me. So this is my right. This is my private property. This is my right. How can you criminally trespass Guess that didn't work out for her because here's the popo. Here are the police. When you could have just worn a mask, here are the police. So this officer is going to go on to explain to her about criminal trespassing. I think, you know, you're not going to really hear a lot of what the officer says, but let me explain this to you. In a private business, they get to set their rules of what type of behavior they do and do not want inside of their store, right? And unless that you can, unless you can show that it's for some, you know, discriminatory reason, like your race, your gender, your religious beliefs, those type of protected classes, they're allowed to remove you from the store and refuse you service. They do not have to accept your money. They do not have to accept your service, okay? They do not have to have you in their store, which is what UPS is. It is a store, okay? You pay them or someone paid them to deliver your package. That's it. And if they refuse to serve you because of your behavior and you refuse to leave, you are trespassed from that private property, okay? They invite people in, but they have the right of refusal as the property owner, as the lessor of the property, as the business of the property, right? They have the right to say, we don't want you in our store. We don't want your business. We don't want you here. They have that right. And the refusal to leave is the trespassing. 
After being told by an agent of the business, which was the manager, to leave said business, she is now trespassing and that's why the police have to intervene. Now, it doesn't go any further past this. The video cuts off there, but the police would have been well within their rights to arrest her to refu for refusing to leave the property. Because it's private property. You don't have the right to be in there after they tell you to leave. Anyway. And now she's the one who's filming. She didn't like the filming, but now she's the one who's filming. But my business and my packages are sent in here. So yes. Just because your packages are at the store doesn't give you the right to occupy the store after they tell you to leave, okay? You could have been very well correct that they had your packages and they lost them or they weren't delivering it to your house even though they said that it was at the store. It can be dealing with shipping, especially right now with everything being so slow, can be so very frustrating. I absolutely understand that. It does not give you a license to show up at the store and act a fool. It doesn't give you the right to do that, okay? And guess what? If their policy is that you have to wear a mask to protect you from COVID-19, then you have to wear a mask. It's really that simple. And if you don't wanna do it, then you have to leave. The people that worked in that store were a lot nicer than I would have been because after the first, the second no, that she wasn't gonna wear a mask, she would have had to leave right then and there, okay? So anyway, So she just told her, she just told her that the officer, that they, the business, UPS, has the right to decide if they want to do business with you or not. And it's really that simple. So if my aunt... It doesn't matter that your aunt sent the thing over to the store. It doesn't matter. Okay? It's over. You don't have the right. Um, and the reason I called her not more, more than a Karen, just a methany, just those body movements were really, you know, I, I deal with a lot of people that have substance abuse issues, but those body movements were indicative of somebody that was more than just high on life. Let's just put it like that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.